Hey, Chris. Bur, bur, bur. Do we gotta worry about the thieves falling off of our, our little Jacko bonsai tree? Bur, bur, bur. Please, you, you may notice that uh, the thieves came for the cherry blossoms for the spring to the green flowers of summer, and now they're, they're, they're all the fall colors. They're the orange and yellows and a little bit of browns and reds, and so you may just wonder if the day falls off. Burr, 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 burr. Well, that, that is a good point. The whole point of the deco is that they, they all sticks together. So. Dear do Mr. C. Did they go for our lives? Okay. Do, do Mr. C. had a question because do, do Mr. C. had to fall off during the fall. And so he just wanted to make sure he's, he had a be vigilant of stepping on the Lego leaves or flowers because uh, they'll make a real big mess and we won't want to be doing that. Burr, burr, burr. Yes, right. So, okay. So, uh, do, do Mr. C. had the, had the question. But uh, us, no, 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 Mrs. No, Mrs. here for story times. You know that. Story time with noise. For when you need a story for naps or seeps. I want to talk about that's why I'm here is I'm Loomis. I just saw Goofy today's because Loomis was very inquisitive about uh, the, the Lego tree that Chris and I have. And then Loomis was also inquisitive because Loomis wanted to know what is in Porcupine Pie. Because that sounds and looks really, really good. And so I was like, Chris. We gotta do that for a short time. And Chris went, bo, 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 bo. And now he said, yep. We're probably gonna want pie after it. Does you missing Chris have pie to eat after it? No. But we're gonna try and fix that later, aren't we, Chris? Bo, bo, bo. That's right. But for right now, it's story time. So this, this game to story, Chris. Loomis wants to read. Loomis been practicing his reading muscles all day. Porcupine prickled with excitement. It was fall feast day. Oh, that's every day when Loomis has cheese and cookies. Her mouth watered as she opened her pantry. One stick of butter, two handfuls of sugar, and three scoops of flour. In a pail, she had a pile of rosy red cranberries. <gasps> that Chris's favorite food. He will eat that cranberry juice. Just the right ingredients to make her famous cranberry pie. Christ, do hear that? They make cranberry pie. Burr, 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 burr. I know it's, we, need, we need to try to find cranberry pie. That sounds super good. Oh, it's, it sounds like the perfect fall tweet. Oh. Oh, but, how, how, but, but how do you make it? Oh. There you go. Porcupine read her recipe. Or Porcupine read her recipe. Sorry. Numis read the word read wrong. So, 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 Numis apologize. It, it's a tricky one. Step one. Wash the cranberries. Oh, that's very good. You gotta wash your fruits. Make sure they're all nice and clean. She stepped into her favorite boots and watered down the path towards the river. Oh, there you go. There's a little ladybug and some flowers. It's looking like a very nice, peaceful fall day. Porcupine stopped to rest at the base of Squirrel's oak tree. Squirrel, Porcupine called, are you making your famous nut bread for fall feast day? Squirrel poked her head out of her nest. No, it's just plain nuts for me this year. Bread needs flour, and I have none. Don't look so sad, squirrel. I have flour to spare. Oh, she's Sarah with the squirrel, so squirrel can make her bread. Oh, that's... Oh, that sounds like really, really good. Oh, oh just careful, careful, probably I think you're losing a couple of berries. Uh, it should all still be good, though. Squirrel scampered down the tree trunk. Really? Oh, thank you, boy, goodbye. The flower is in my pantry. Help yourself. Oh, how, how, how very, very nice. Uh, 
porcupine continued toward the river. When she waddled by Bear's cave, she called, Bear, are you making your famous honey cake for fall feast day? Bear lifted his nose from a book. No, it's just plain honey for me this year. Cake needs butter, and I have none. Oh, no, Bear can't make his honey. It's his honey cake. That also sounds really good. Of course, we gotta remember to stop doing story times before lunch. No must always get hungry. Butter, you say? How much do you need? Only half a stick. I have butter back in my den. Help yourself. Bear dropped his book and nearly gave Porcupine a hug. Thank you, Porcupine. Look at the BSS as good friends. They share and stuff. They being good neighbors. You make sure that's what you do. It's sometimes you can ask your neighbor for a cup of sugar. And sometimes they oblige. Sometimes they don't have sugar. Which, which is okay. Then maybe you ask another neighbor or you buy sugar for both of you. That way you never want out. It's Porcupine near the river. Doe's thicket came into view. Doe, Porcupine called. Are you making your famous apple tart for a fall feast day? Oh, care careful, Porcupine, or do some more berries. Doe gracefully stepped out onto the trail. No, it's just plain apples for me this year. Tarts need sugar, and I have none. Oh, no. She doesn't have any. Oh, but look. She has, she has a little, like... The cape or break it on. Oh, that's really fun. I bet that keeps door nice and warm. I'd be happy to lend you some sugar. Help yourself. Those bright eyes widened. Poor Goopy, thank you. You have made this a very special fall feast day. Look at poor Goopy. She's selling with everyone, but we got to be careful, Porcupine. you dropping all of our cranberries. we got to be careful. My goodness. At the river, Porcupine looked inside her pail. Oh, no! She gasped. Her pail was empty. See, see Porcupine, no, no matter try to tell you, you got to be careful. We're swinging the pails around and all the cranberries fall out. So you gotta be careful. Just, just retrace your steps, you find the porcupine. They come back to the river, and then you clean them. Then the dirty cranberries are clean. Numis knows how to do this. Something similar maybe happened to Numis once, but that's okay. <gasps> it's a little foggy. He's watching. Just watching. Maybe you'll help Foggy. C can you help Porcupine near Foggy? Maybe the Foggy helps. All right, no need to find out. Oh! What's this? It. It all the friends. They're picking up the berries. Oh! Maybe the friends are going to help Porcupine in exchange. Oh! Maybe that's it. Do we still get hit in the table with his paw? Don't, don't worry, so nobody actually at doors. Uh, do we know it sounded very realistic? Knock, knock, knock. Porcupine, are you making your famous cranberry pie for fall feast day? No, Porcupine answered. I just Plain pie crust for me this year. I lost my cranberries and now I have none. Oh. Wait, is she. Po Porcupine just gonna make pie crust? Did she not go put anything in pie crust? Did. No one didn't know you could just eat plain pie crust. That's. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Is, is that like. Plain cookies, whether it's like no tacky chips or berries 
or humans or anything in them. It's No, no must, no, no must have no crisis here. No, no must gonna have to have a things after this. That's nice. No must never thought of that before. Hmm. She opened the door. Doe, squirrel, and bear had their famous culinary creations. In one hand. And an offering in the other. <gasps> Leftover nuts, said Squirrel. A dribble of honey, said Bear. A few extra apples. And a handful of cranberries, said Bear. <gasps> there are but stuff for porcupines and the berries. <gasps> now they can all have their own creations. That's awesome. All the most excited. They just, that's what happened for us all the bouts. If I could just hug you, porcupine beamed. I can't make my famous cranberry pie. Then there's nothing better than a festive friendship pie. <gasps> she put a little bit of all those stuff in her pie. <gasps> that genius. No miss with his head that that's genius. Oz Poke Porcupine is culinary master. Co Porcupine master self for short. Oz that's so smart. Oh, and look, there's a recipe. Oh, the pie crust and cranberries and sugar flour, the cranberry juice, cinnamon. Apples, oh almonds, that's the nuts, and the honey and butter. Oh, well, what do look at that? It's a full of recipe. Chris, show us to be the camera so people can see. No, do miss not going to leave this here for forever. She just goes so so you can pause the video if you want to make pies. Okay, they're down in, of course. Burp, burp, burp. Oh, it's, boys. Well now, well now, Chris, 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 I have answer for for pie. Chris and Nubis can make pies now. We, we, we don't have ingredients for pie, do we, Chris? Bo, 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 bo. Well, okay, so I guess Nubis Chris got to go grocery store first. But that's okay. But no, before we do this, Nubis will, will thank you for watching story time. For if you were going to have a nap, so seeps. Or maybe maybe now we're gonna make pie. Or maybe we had pie while this and you know, watching story times. Uh Loomis is gonna go try and make pie now. Um may, maybe some of Loomis friends can help make pie too. Loomis will have to ask. Uh, but until then, um Loomis will thank you again for watching and Loomis will see you next time for another story time. Maybe pie related. Probably not. But yeah, so Thanks for watching, and no miss. See you later. Have extra super specials day. Bye.